inavyoendelea kusherekea ushindi huu wa Kenya kwanza. Pia tusisahau kwamba kuna wale ambao wanaomboleza kwa ku kwa sababu kiti hii imewaponyoka tena kwa mara ya tano. Na mbali na yale ambao walikuwa wakizungumzia kupitia kwa makatazi yao ambao wamepeleka Supreme Court kwamba sisi watu wa Kenya kwanza tuliwaidia kura kwamba sisi watu wa Kenya kwanza tulikuwa na tulikuwa tumeajiri wale watu wa teknolojia ya mitambo za kompyuta ambao waliweza wakabadilisha matokeo kabla hayafika pale Bomas. Mimi ningependa kusema hivi kwamba ni kinaya kikubwa wale ambao wangetakana waseme ya kwamba kura yao iliibwa ama ilipunguzwa ni sisi watu wa Kenya kwanza kwa sababu tulienda katika uchaguzi huo wa tarehe 9 Agosti tukiwa hatuungwi mkono na serikali ya Kenya hatuungwi mkono na mawaziri hatuungwi mkono na baadhi ya wakubwa wa idara za polisi ambao walikuwa wanaegemea upande wa azimio. Kwa hivyo watu wa azimio kusema kwamba sisi tuli, tuliweza kuwaajiri watu ambao waliingia kwa mitambo uh, ya serikali na kubadilisha kura ambazo zilikuwa zimepigwa ni kitu ambacho si lazima mtu kwende shule ndio jua kwamba ni uongo na ni uongo mtupu. Serikali ya Kenya imekuwa ikijivunia kwamba iko na kijana maachachari sana kwa mambo ya kompyuta. Alita Joe Mshero ambaye ni waziri wa ICT katika serikali ya Uhuru Kenyatta. Na kura hizi zilipoanza kuhesabuliwa maajendi wote wa azimio walikuwepo na walitia sahihi zile fomu ambazo zilitoa matokeo zile fomu ambazo zilitoa katika zilipeperushwa kwa njia ya kielektroniki zilikuwa ni provisional results kwa sababu fiscal form kuna desks ambazo hai ABC ilikuwa imetenga wale wadadisi ambao walipitia zile fomu waangalia kwamba zina, kama zinafanana inaenda for next verification step na ilipitia kile step ambayo maejenti wa azimio walikuwepo pia wakatangaza form zote kutoka katika kutoka ma, maeneo maeneo ambayo kura ilipigwa Kenya mzima hakuko na alama yote wakatoka hapo wakaweka kwanza mpaka eneo bunge mia, mia moja mia, katika wakahesabu waka verify kutoka eneo bunge ya kwanza mpaka tukaambiwa ilikuwa imebagia tu maeneo bunge 27 peke yake hao kuna shida yote na zile form na yale matokeo hakuna yote aliyosema ya kwamba katika pekuzi pekuzi zetu tumekuta kwa mfumo fulani ya kutoka wa bunge fulani ilikuwa na dosari matokeo yalikuwa yamebadilishwa hakukuwa na ripoti yoyote ambayo ilikuwa ya hivyo lakini ilipobaki kwamba imebaki maeneo bunge 27 ambayo tayari ya pia ilikuwa yamekuwa ya verified ile ambayo ilikuwa ijafanya ni kwamba commissioner wa IEBC alikuwa ajaja kutangaza rasmi sasa kufikia wakati tukiwa mpaka 27 constituencies ndio kizungumkuti kaanza wakaanza kupanga kuiba kura wakaanza kupanga kushurutisha chepkati kwamba lazima umtangaze fulani kwamba hey ndio ameshinda hii kura ya uchaguzi wakubwa wa serikali wakaanza kukuja mi mwenyewe nilimuona vice cgs akiwa amekuja hapo ili kujaribu kueneza njia fiche ya serikali ya Kenya kwa kuwahonga makomishono wa IEBC. Pale vile wafula chipkata aliona mambo kitumbua karibu kinaingia mchanga. Akaona hawa wale ambao wangeendelea wange na ile kutangaza 
e, matokeo ya yale maeneo bunge shina sema ambayo yalikuwa yamebaki wa tayari wameanza kuleta shutuma kwamba tu tubadilishe hizi nambari ili tukuwe na runoff na chepkati kutoka alikula kiapo kwamba atalinda katiba ya Kenya na atafanya kazi kama chairman wa IEBC kulingana na mujibu wa sheria na ndio maana akasema hawezi akafanya vitu kama hivyo wale makomisho na waina wakaondoka kwenda walikokwenda kule kwenda kuwahudumia wale ambao walikuwa wamewapa hela ama wamepromise kuwapa hela kwamba wachakachue matokeo ambayo wa Kenya walikuwa wamefika kura na ndio maana chipkata katangaza kwamba wale ambao wameshinda so in simple terms i am saying there is no way Kenya kwanza coalition will have stolen the elections as it was being announced by IEBC because we did not have the support of the sitting president we didn't have the support of the security apparatus of this country and we did not even have the support of the deep state something which azimio were claiming to have every time so the people who actually should be taken to task to explain their attempts to reduce the votes that William Samoei Ruto got are as mere themselves. And I want to advise my, my father, Raila Amolo Dinga. Raila Amolo Dinga is of the age of my father. I want to advise him that uh, he has been trying to be president of the Republic of Kenya for for five times and he has not been succeeding i want to tell him that uh, leaders comes from god and it's the same same god that blocks bad people from ascending to the leadership whatever that to the leadership of the country so i want to tell Raila Odinga not to be angry with kenyans but he can be angry with god it's god who has blocked him from being president of the Republic of Kenya. The reasons I am not aware, maybe one day if we meet him, we will ask him for the reasons why he blocked the Odinga from being president of the Republic of Kenya, despite the fact that I, he has been trying for the fifth time. I also, also want to ask the, all those voters who supported Raila Moro Odinga to accept the results and move on. We only have one Kenya. We only have one government. And the government of the day, the government of William Samuel Ruto will serve everybody, will serve every part of this country. We are determined to turn around the economy of this country. We are determined to create jobs for the jobless young people of this country. We are going to do so because we are not going to fund projects that are not labor intensive. But we will concentrate in funding projects that are labor intensive, projects that will create employment for the young people of this country. I want to give you an example. The amount of money that Uhuru Kenyatta's government put in SGR, the amount of money that Uhuru Kenyatta put in construction of the express way from the airport to Westlands. By not undermining the benefits of these projects, but if this amount of money was put in the projects that are labor intensive, in the manufacturing, in the cottage industries, this country will have created employment for thousands, for millions of young people of this country. And we are going to focus in those type of projects. Every region in this country is known to be productivity to be productive in one or two sectors. For example, Nyanza is known for fishing. Kisi is known for planting tea. Transoia is the food basket for this country. Bungoma has rich agricultural land and we have cane farming. Central, they are good in entrepreneurs. Coastal region is good in tourism. We are going to create regional cottage industries that will tap into the raw materials supplied by the people so that we create both employment and the source of income, source of market for the 
for, 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 for the agricultural products from those particular areas. Wow. So that's why we are going to focus in. We are going to create industries, value addition in various economic activities of the region. So if it is in Rift Valley, we do value additions by bringing in uh, uh, industries that will, agro, that will support agro processing so that uh, the people of Rift Valley can get ready market for their produce, for their maize, for their tea, so that we can sort out both unemployment and the in ensuring that, that the farmers get money for the farm produce that they are producing. That is what we are going to do as a Kenya Kwanza government. And by so doing, we are not going to exclude any part of this country. You saw when the results were being streamed in live, that some of the TVs were showing some counties were yellow, others were blue. It doesn't matter whether a county was yellow or blue, we are going to put all of them on the table. We have also had uh, some propaganda being spread around that the Kenya Kwanza government will target civil servants who are tormenting us during the Hansen government. We have no time to revenge. Just the same way our president has said, and I want to reiterate that we have no time to revenge. There is so much on the table. We need to lower the cost of uh, living in this country. We need to lower the cost of basic products that support uh, life in this country. We need to sort out uh, the issues to do with in, in education so that we can be able to streamline the system that we are having now and ensure that every child of this country uh, gets a basic education, gets secondary education, and uh, is supported uh, to get uh, uh, you know, higher education from an institution of higher learning. So we have a lot of things on our entry. What we are going to do is that we are going to restructure we are going to restructure our civil service and remind civil servants that what the Kenya Kwanzaa government expects from them is that they should not participate in the politics of this country. In Kenya Kwanzaa, we have enough politicians, we have enough political analysts, we have enough uh, political strategic uh, communication experts, and that the civil servants that are going to work uh, under Kenya Kwanzaa government, they must execute their duties and the functions in line with the let letters of offer that they signed, in line with the constitution of this country, and the transfer of such civil servants from one station to the other is going to be guided by meritocracy and the need by the government to ensure that we give proper services to Kenya. We are no longer going just to allow, for example, our uh, county commissioners, our regional commissioners, our chiefs, to be engaging in meager roles of uh, sniffing around politicians to see what they are doing and report to the office of the president. We are going to give them proper duties so that instead of just idling around, turning themselves into NIS officers, collecting specific data that are of little importance to the government. But they are going to be the focal point in terms of ensuring that uh, they are well versed with the government program in the areas of jurisdiction. They will monitor and they supervise delivery and the execution of government functions so that instead of them reporting that uh, yesterday we are this so-and-so with a meeting here, we are this so-and-so planning at this, uh, this and that. They will be reporting parameters that will enable the government of the day uh, be aware of the status of the project that the government of Kenya is doing. They will also be engaged in doing uh, the structured public participation to be able to know what the Kenyans in the, in the areas of jurisdiction expect from the government. If they want some roads to be done, if they want some uh, water points to be, to be, to be done, if, they, if there is some bit of some insecurity and they need an additional police stations, so that the information that they will be coming from chiefs, from county commissioners, from deputy county commissioners, must be information that the government of Kenya Kwanzaa will use to shape our government policy, to inform our budget policy statements, so that it becomes one of the one of the areas that the government of Kenya is going to tap into understanding what else the citizens of this country 
so that we can all work towards improving the life of our, of, our, of our Kenyan people. This is what we are planning. This is what we are planning to do. And if it will demand that uh, we request, we do further training, because this outgoing government has misused the civil service. So if it will come to our attention that some government officers uh, have actually been uh, given a very fake education about how to handle uh, yourself as a government officer, then we will restructure and ensure that they are properly trained. They are reminded that their role is to support the government deliver on its promise and not to engage in politics 